Taiwan is the problem, one of the problem, one of the problems of China. So how to? Uh, so the international community uh, got used to try to ease their problems, try to uh, suppress many of these unpleasant problems. And but however, this I think we all know that this established international structure is now changing uh, after. Because after a decade of appeasement policy, China's various structural changes that the world anticipated have never taken place. And just like my colleague Lo Zizan has shared with you, all those political reforms not been taken places, but things got worse. They tried to infiltrate the world, tried to in interfere with a lot of democracies in the world. And the human rights records inside China uh, now, no matter Xinjiang, Tibet, or even Hong Kong, which should be protected by the so-called one country, two systems, but still, uh, they got oppressed a lot. Uh, we all know the situation right now. So, China not only didn't, uh, didn't try their best to reform, the, to, to uh, pre, uh, implement the political reforms, but things got worse, and they try to infiltrate, they try to shake the, the world order that we get used to, the value, like what my colleague Moses has shared, that so-called, uh, the, the way of life of the demo democratic world. So that's what, uh, I think that's what we have failed in the last few decades, and that's what we should change. So this uh, brings me to my next point. Give Taiwan the status it deserves. Let us contribute to the international society. I've been, I've been interviewed by a lot of media about what we have done this year to contain the coronavirus, to contain the uh, epidemic. What we have done. Actually, we got a lot of things. We've done a lot of things the other governments in the other countries have done. Quite the same thing. Uh, as people to wear masks, uh, stay social distancing. We, actually, there are a lot of things that we have done quite as aligned with the other countries. But there's one thing that we have done ahead, which is we stay high cautious on the uh, information provided by China. So I think you, we all know that we might be one of the countries that close the border and try to uh, take things serious with high vigilance attitude. And also based on the, and that's all based on our experience and lessons learned from the China SARS epidemic in 2001. In 2001. So we decisively formed a series of epidemic prevention measures. So I think, uh, I think that's what we should learn from uh, because we have failed a lot of things and we, we didn't really kind of face China, Chinese uh, government in the right way. So we, that's uh, this year now what we have, uh, what, when the China infiltrates the UN uh, and all the international organizations, we thought